Okay, continuing on with 5.5, um, we have the conjugate root theorem. And what the conjugate root theorem says is that if a polynomial has rational coefficients, well, all the, all the ones we're going to be looking at are going to have rational coefficients. Okay, so that part don't pay too much attention to. Um, then it's irrational roots. Now, irrational roots is talking about um, any radical that doesn't simplify. So square root of 3, square root of 2, square root of 5. Um, those are irrational numbers. So if a polynomial has any irrational roots and it's imaginary roots, which means the roots with eyes, what that's going to do is that they're going to appear as conjugate pairs. So if you have one irrational root, then its conjugate will also be a root. And if you have an imaginary root, then its conjugate will also be a root. So basically what it's saying, if I have a root of a polynomial, a plus square root of b, then that means its conjugate, a minus the square root of b, will also be a root of that polynomial. And again with the imaginaries, if I have a root a plus i is a root, then its conjugate a minus i will be a root. Um, so they're always going to appear as conjugate pairs if the roots are irrational or imaginary. So if I have this question, a quintic polynomial has roots square root of 2, 3 minus 2i, and 5, the question will be, what are any other roots? Well, what you have to look at is the roots that you're given, any of the irrational or imaginary, you will also need to include its conjugate. So since square root of 2 is irrational, its conjugate will also be a root. And because there's no first part um, in front of it, that's really just a 0. So it's the conjugate of square root of 2 is going to be negative square root of 2. And 3 minus 2i is a root. Well, its conjugate will be a root as well, which means 3 plus 2i is a root. Now, because 5 is not irrational and it's not imaginary, that means I'm not going to use the opposite of that. I don't find another root from that root itself. Um, so those are the only other two roots that I will have is square root of 2, ne sorry, negative square root of 2, and 3 plus 2i. So here for this next part of it, um, it's asking me what is the cubic polynomial function that has roots negative 4 and 2i? Well, because it's a cubic, that gives you a clue. Because it's a cubic, the degree is 3, that means it's going to have three total roots. Now, they've given me two of them. And I'm going to use one of those two to find my last one. So I already have negative 4 and 2i, but because the 2i is imaginary, that means its conjugate will also be a root, which is going to be negative 2i. I don't use the conjugate or the opposite of the negative 4 because it is rational and it is not imaginary. So in order to write the polynomial, you're going to do just like you did earlier, is first write it in factored form, x minus each root, so it's x minus negative 4, that's going to become x plus 4, x minus 2i, and then x minus negative 2i, which is going to be x plus 2i. Whenever you're multiplying these, multiply the conjugates first. Um, because that way all the i's are going to cancel out when you do that. So when I go ahead and multiply x times x, that becomes x squared. This becomes positive 
2 times x i, or 2 i x, it doesn't really matter the, the way you write it. Then I multiply these two, the inner, that becomes negative 2 x i, and then negative times positive becomes negative 4 i squared. Now the two i's in the middle, I have positive 2 x i, negative 2 x i, they're going to cancel out. And remember that i squared is equal to negative 1. So negative 4 times that negative 1 becomes positive 4. And then I multiply it. Still, I still got to multiply that with the x plus 4. So that's going to become x cubed plus 4x plus 4x squared plus 16. Nothing combines. All I have to do now is write it in standard form. So I have x cubed plus 4x squared plus 4x plus 16. I had to put this one first because the degrees. And that's my polynomial with those roots. OK, so here's a couple for you to try. The first one, what are any other? other roots um, of the polynomial that has the roots 5 over 2, 3, and negative 4 minus 3i. This is one root here. And then the second question, write the polynomial with the roots 2 and negative square root of 3. Um, I haven't gone over one multiplying with radical, but do the best that you can and we'll go over it in class. What is, all right, here's the joke. What is Homer Simpson's favorite ice cream? Chocolate chip cookie. Don't!